press briefing with the update on the territory's trip to the UK. Here's a highlight of everything you need to know. On May 16th, Premier Dr. The Honorable Natalia D. Wheatley and Deputy Premier and Minister for Financial Services, Labor and Trade, Honorable Lorna Smith, held a press conference to provide the public with an update on their recent visit to the United Kingdom. The Premier explained that the discussions during the Joint Ministerial Council were very constructive and aimed at strengthening the UK government's support for the territory in areas such as security, climate change response, environmental protection, maritime management, economic resilience, and health. Prima Wheatley also recapped on the bilateral meeting with the Lord Goldsmith, which was also attended by Deputy Premier Honorable Lorna Smith. They discussed governance and reform, among other things. The Premier expressed that the time is now to move forward with the implementation of the remaining elements of the COI recommendations and other reforms. BBI UK relations. I'm pleased that our UK partners support our plans to transition the Virgin Islands to a more diversified, tourism-led, investment-driven, low-carbon economy that delivers business and job opportunities for our people. I'm very pleased also that at the JMC, there was UK support for my administration's push for infrastructural development through targeted borrowing. The UK side understands our economics, economic needs and climate vulnerability, which has to be addressed through public sector investment in resilience. Notably, I had a bilateral meeting with Lord Goldsmith, which was also attended by the Deputy Premier. We discussed governance reform, among other things. We agree that now is the time to re-energize the reform process and to swiftly move forward with the implementation of the remaining elements of the COI recommendations and other reforms. While in London, I was able to engage UK parliamentarians. I met the chair of the BVI All-Party Parliamentary Group, Mr. James Sunderland, MP, with whom I discussed my administration's priorities, reform and progress on building a new modern partnership between the Virgin Islands and the UK. I was also a panelist at an Overseas Territories Conference in the UK, UK Parliament, where I shared with parliamentarians what it is like to govern in the territories and the key issues of interest and concern to us. Deputy Premier Honorable Lorna Smith explained that the meetings were utilized to demonstrate the territory's consistent stance on publicly accessible registers of beneficial ownership. We agreed that it would be prudent for the overseas territories and the United Kingdom to establish a technical working group on beneficial ownership transparency. This group will share expertise and discuss issues surrounding the implementation of publicly accessible registers of company beneficial ownership ensuring the necessary safeguards to protect privacy rights. During her second statement, Honorable Lorna Smith spoke about how the Joint Ministerial Council meetings brought forward ways the United Kingdom and the Virgin Islands can work together to tackle the issue of illicit finance. One of the key subjects discussed related to the subject of illicit finance and how the United Kingdom and the overseas territories can work together to tackle the subject. This has led to the launching of a new ministerial level annual dialogue that will address the issue of illicit finance. While the details of how this dialogue will be carried forward is being worked on, I'm very pleased to announce that the Honorable Premier's offer for the Virgin Islands to host the first meeting on the subject has been accepted by his colleague overseas territories leaders and the United Kingdom. As the minister responsible for financial services, I have tremendous interest in ensuring and leading as necessary the charge against any activity that may become a reputational dent on the financial services and the products the Virgin Islands has to offer. 
We may be small in size, but we recognize our giant role as a jurisdiction in the conduct and facilitation of global financial services. The Virgin Islands once again declares that it remains open to only legitimate business premised on respect for our laws and the laws of other countries and will continue to cooperate with external law enforcement and the civil authorities of other countries. This has been another press conference highlight. Until next time.